In this video, we're going to look at how to create the famous 3D wall logo, like what you see on my desktop in Photoshop. And this is coming up. Hi everybody and welcome to the channel. My name is Innocent and over here we make videos like this. If that is something that sounds like you're interested, kindly consider subscribing. So I've been seeing people using this particular kind of mock-up a lot of people have been using it so i'm just going to walk you through how you can create something like this either for your business or for clients let's get started now the first thing you need to understand is that this is a complete mock-up that we are going to edit so you don't need to start creating this from scratch and you don't have to even go and worry the 3d in photoshop you're just going to insert it into a mock-up so the first thing you need to do is you're going to download the mockup that we are going to use for this project. There are so many of these mockups that you can use so you can easily go to Google and type in something like 3D wall logo mockup. You're going to search for this and it is going to give you different options. Now you can check my video on how to search for resources for your project. So you realize from here that there are so many templates that you can download for instance this particular one here which I used in this project or this tutorial. So you are going to click on the link over here, which will take you to graphicbeggar.com and then you can download this particular mockup. Once you're at graphicbeggar.com, you scroll down a little bit and then you are going to see an option that says download. So you are just going to click ahead and follow the prompt to download this particular mockup. When your mockup is done downloading, it's going to be in your download folder or wherever you've set your downloads to be. And in this case, it is in this particular folder so we are going to open it extract it and then we can open it in photoshop mind you to make this very easier for you you need to install winra as well so that you can easily open this so there are two options you can either extract it right away or you can open the file straight away and open it also in photoshop so once you open the winra file you're going to be presented with this you double click on the 3d wall logo mockup and then you can see the 3d wall mockup over here if you are going to be using this over time or most of the times you can extract it by going to extract here and then you are going to extract it to a different location or a location that you want so in this case let's say we are going to extract it to the same folder so the 3d logo and then we can click ok with this done we can go back and open our psd or you can also open it right away from here the only downside is that when you open it from here you might not be able to open it from the recent in photoshop that is why you need to extract it so once extracted you realize that we have the same 3d wall logo mockup over here and now we can open it in photoshop all right so we're here in photoshop i'm going to show you two different ways to do this the first one is using this normal test normal font like what you see on here that is the sign wall and the other process is going to be when you have a logo created in the form of a symbol and then you want to bring it in here so first things first once you are here you don't touch anything everything has already been created for you the only thing that you are going to work on is your logo here thumbnail so you are going to click on this particular smart object thumbnail once you double click on it it is going to take you to a different document and here it says replace me so what we are going to do is we can delete this and replace it with our test or you can even hide it and replace it with whatever you want it to reflect on the 3d wall logo so the first one we are looking at is the test form so you are going to pick your test tool you can pick any test tool and mind you you realize that when you open this the font was already black so you probably want to keep your font or your test also black which is going to make sense okay so you can type anything here all right so once you're done you can open it up to make it as big as possible it can fit every part that you want it to fit or you can even make it fit the entire canvas like this and you can absolutely use any font at all that the font that i'm using currently is called glitten and if you want to download it i'll leave links in the description so if it is a business you can put the name of your business you can put maybe the location and your contact details over here once you are done with this inside this particular project all that you're going to do is press ctrl s to save it so you're going to save it and it will update the smart object that we open so once we come into this smart object it is going to reflect over here 
it is as simple as that now the beautiful thing about this one is that any changes that you make on here is easily going to reflect on the thumbnail that we just created so if i delete this one for instance and then i go ahead and save it or update it it is going to update the thumbnail or the smart object thumbnail this one as well so you realize that the other part is going to be no more that is when you are using the normal test what if you want to bring in a logo now if you want to bring in a logo it is advisable that you convert your logo into what is known as a png in this case it is not going to have any background and it is going to assume the background of this particular 3d logo let me show you an example so here is a logo that i recently created for a client now let me show you something here if i group all of this logo for instance this is the logo itself so if i press ctrl plus alt plus shift and then e it is going to make a an image form of my logo for me now if i drag this image onto the shape that we opened like this one and then we try to transform it out to be smaller i want to illustrate something to you over here you realize that we have white backgrounds okay so let's just double click and position it over here now let's even assume that we want to get rid of this white backgrounds around it so that it will be left with only the white in here and let's try to make our test here a bit smaller so we just bring it down here and then our logo is going to be on top now notice something here if i save this particular one let's see what will happen to our 3d wall logo now you see that every part of this that has the white so you see there is a white in the r there is a white in the o and then there is a white in the d or the the airplane that we have over here and it is not allowing it to reflect over here and that is why your logo has to be plain it has to be completely plain that is png else you are not going to have the actual thing that you are supposed to have over here so how do you do that you can use this same approach but you just make sure that all the white in here has been removed but if you don't want to stress yourself like that as well you can easily do it from your logo creation so once you've created this one and you've grouped everything you are just going to turn off the background here and you see that here it looks so plain and therefore you can go ahead and hit ctrl shift and then alt and e and it is going to create or you can even save this as a png if you if you want to save yourself stress so ctrl plus shift plus s and then you are going to save this as a png so png is going to be here like that once you've saved that as a png I, i've already saved it so i'm not going to you can then go ahead into file place embedded and then you're going to import this over here so you can transform it down and once you're done ctrl plus s to save it and now this is what you have so you can see the huge difference between this one and the first one that we created and you see that this reflects the exact logo that we created over here make sure that your test is centered nicely so that it looks much better so let me save this right over here and now everything looks much better remember that this is not the only wall mockup there are so many of them that you can explore on google you just have to search for 3d wall mockup and then you are going to have so many of them and in a nutshell that is how to create the famous 3d wall logo in photoshop i hope this video was helpful if it was a subscribe to the channel will be so very much appreciated and don't forget to check the other logo mockups and the mockup videos that i've made over the past few years thank you so much for sticking around to watch this video i'll see you guys in the next video in case you create something like this and you want to share hit me up on instagram or twitter and then we will talk from there thank you so much and i'll see you guys in the next video innocent here and bye